What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, in the last video you saw that we were at the diner, things went wrong. Um, since then I've rebuilt this motor um, and we are ready to go back to the diner. I'm here at CD Motorsport today with Craig. Um, we're going to do a full setup with this car now. Um, so that the car is fully set up um, and then we can go to the diner. So in this video we will be going to the diner as well. We'll be going to Hammer Manka at uh, Hat Dynamics. So yeah, um, but we had to crack now and we're going to just go through the process of um, setting up the car, doing alignment, toe on the rear and we're going to feed through all the, bra the brakes as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please, if you do, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and family and then yeah, let's get into this video. You're never going to make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different and you must be kidding. Think you're going to hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You got to stop it, though. You got to take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn. Okay, so we're going to set up the suspension on the car. Obviously, get the wheel alignment, cast the camber, toe, all that sorted out. And um, the corner weights on the car. So for those of you that don't know, I mean, I'm sure most of you know what the alignment, cast the camber, toe is. But the corner weights basically means the, the car's footprint on the ground. Obviously, everyone knows the only thing that uh, attaches a car to the road is the, the rubber on the tires. Um, but you can have different pressures pushing that down. So inevitably, what happens sometimes, a car stands on, on two wheels. So when, when you measure the pressure between the car and the road, uh, the road surface, then you'll have higher pressure, say, on a right front and a left rear. So which basically means the car's teeter-tottering, uh, you know, the right rear to left front and that's not what you want so you obviously want to increase the pressure on the the wheels that they are the lightest and get, kind of get them all even obviously there's a engine in the front and nothing really in the back of the car so the front's always going to be heavier than the rear so you want to basically get your front two wheels to kind of be near each other in terms of pressure on the ground and then your rears as well and then what you do is you cross weight them as well so you can bias the car better to turn right or left depending on the circuits you're running so guys who run oval track will bias the car one way because okay, it only has to turn that yeah. way. Okay, so, yeah. cool. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So yeah, we're only cracking on that now. Yeah. Craig, he's just doing a ball check on everything, making sure that everything is proper tight. Um, He's just literally going to run under the entire car and just make sure everything is tight. So yeah, that's what he's currently doing. I get nervous for shit like this because I'm scared the stuff breaks. <laughs> okay, like I said, the other thing you need to get is a lower control and brace. Yeah. The brace bar that goes from here to here. And then you get one of those. I put it on my, on my road caddy. Yeah. You can take it off your road caddy if you want. <laughs> yeah, they're cheap. I think Parfler, Takai, Sols, they make them. Oh, you sell them for like 450 bucks or something. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, it's not too badly priced. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure a lot you have to check here. I can't believe it. No, but that's Okay, so just a small update, guys. So, what we've done so far in the car is we have done the camber, which is uh, both set now. Then we replaced, or Craig replaced, a whole bunch of bolts that were like either the the thread was fucked or the bolt was just wrong. Oh, Did Ryan, that. Ryan was banking on hopes and dreams holding that together. Yeah. Um, then we sorted out, we just tightened up all the CVs, all the box. Um, he changed did. the ball joint. Oh yeah, he changed the ball joint as well. Um, he, he corner weighted the car and now we are doing alignment. And then I'm going to drive the car as is. And then um, well, we checked we checked the corner weights yeah. on the car. Uh, they aren't bad. They're not perfect. But Ryan is changing the front springs on the car. So the to to go to the effort to um, change out the or to set up the corner weights and stuff, and we're just going to rip it all apart in about a couple of weeks' time. It's not really worth the effort. Yeah. So we're just going to run it as is because it's not far out. It can be fine tuned, but we don't see the point in fine tuning something that's going to be changed. Mm. So that's the long story short of it. Uh, it's good enough for him to get practice laps and we're just going to set up the alignment now that obviously the car tracks straight um and then yeah we'll open the swing some laps yeah get and we're going to bleed and we're going to bleed brakes because i have absolutely no brakes at the moment i'm going reverse to first to slow the car down so yeah it's not a good thing but that's what we've been doing so once the brakes have been bled the alignment is done then you'll see in the same video we'll be at the diner and then the next video after that we should be on the track 
So, That's yeah. The plan. This is Craig's tether that he's been building. Um, I think he's been building it for like 10 years now. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, probably probably just over five. But... Uh, five years in the making. Five years in the making, yeah. But he, he, him and I are both pushing to do the one hour. That's that's our, our goal, I would say. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lose any sleep if I don't make it, but obviously, the biggest issue for me now is since my car accident, I can't push cars around. Yeah. So I need the cars to run. So that was the main thing. And the car was so close. I mean, it, the, it dropped a valve and start up the other day. So it just gave me an excuse to put the, the big port head on. So that's come <laughs> back from the engineers on Friday. And there it is. The broken one's lying over there. So yeah, put the new head on. And now it's just, I need to find two to three hours just to bolt everything up and turn the key. Yeah. So. Craig is actually building this car and a Polo 6 on his YouTube channel and that is also, that's linked in the description so you can definitely check that out. So that is all for today's video's video. So that's all for today's video guys. It is now actually like half past six, seven I would say. Um, the sun's just starting to go down. We've just finished about Craig. He did a setup and I was always under the impression that setups go quickly and stuff. When really it didn't, he went through a full uh, nuts and bolt check. We did tow, camber, um, corner weight. We did fucking everything on this fucking car. Um, so I am fucking, I'm over the moon. Sorry about all the swearing. I'm over the moon with this car. The setup is now perfect to what I want it to be. Um, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Craig from CDE Motorsport. He also has a YouTube channel, Seed Automotive. He has a Jetta um, that he races in Class B and he has a couple of uh, other race cars that he's also building. So please go check out his channel. His channel is linked in the description. Um, but yeah, once again, a big, big thank you to him. So we are off to the dyno next. So in 10 seconds, we'll see you at the dyno. What is up, you guys? So this is the second part of the video. We have the race car behind. We have the Fortuna behind. We are ready to go. It's early morning. We're heading off now to um, Hermann Manka uh, for shooting. So we're going to go there, sort everything out, get the tune right. And then hopefully by today, we're actually driving. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see how everything goes. guys that is the final outcome um the kilowatts i didn't actually record the kilowatts i know i should have but the car makes class e power which is um class e power i think it's 80 kilowatts and 158 if i'm not mistaken i currently have 80 oh sorry it's 82.4 i think it is with intolerance or oh, that's maximum tolerance mine's at 81 at the moment and then for new meters the max with tolerance I think it's like 160 somewhere around there I'm not sure sure mine's far under it's 144 at the moment so the the reason why it's actually so low is because this is just a base setup so that I can spin some laps in the car 
there is a couple of things I need to change the coil. Um, I need to ground a couple of things a bit better. Um, and I need to, there was another thing I needed to sort out. But once those things are sorted out, then we're going to go back to the dyno and do another tune. That'll be the full tune. We haven't done anything with can time timing yet, nothing. So this is just practically a base setup that I can go drive around. So I would just like to say thank you so much to Craig and Hammond for all the help with this car. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and family. And then in the next video, I will actually be driving the car. I'm taking the car out now um, at four o'clock, but that'll be in the next video after this one. So yeah, please uh, stay tuned for that. And then we'll see how the first experience goes on track.